everybody, welcome to Brickball. My name is Jack and today we are reviewing a Nexo Knight set. This isn't so much a set as a souped up minifigure. We have Ultimate Flamma. On the box I see an age recommendation of 7 to 14. It is set number 70339 and it has 67 pieces. I like that they changed the base color of Flamma's body to yellow. It looks a lot better this way. We will do a comparison to the original when I finish them. And let's just build this guy. Right, the quick little build is done and let's take a look at Ultimate Flamma in his most basic form, just the minifigure. I can say that I definitely prefer this Flamma in yellow as opposed to the original red. Here they are together just so you can take a look. And I believe the detailing just pops out a bit more on the uh, yellow plastic. And this is especially the case for the print for his face. It's not actually the exact same print, which I like. The mouth form is just a little bit different, and so are the eyes. This new Ultimate Flamma doesn't have any of the glowing shoulder armor, and that is because his default Nexo Power won't really allow it. This Nexo Power is called Flame Wreck, and with it comes this attachment on his back that's pretty much made totally out of Technic, and it is a smashing hammer function. It works fine, you kind of have to hold down the figure a little bit if you want to smash the hammer around. Personally, I don't think the build looks that great. I usually don't for these ultimate figs. It's mostly just Technic pieces, but I do appreciate the single printed piece at the end of the hammer that shows a bit of flame detailing. I do like that piece. But anyways, let's move down. Here is Flamma just on his stand, and you can see his Nexo powers on either side. Let's take a look at Slime Blast first. It's pretty simple. He just gets a stud gun with a little bit of trans green on the back, and there's also this case here that has some trans green shots for extra ammo. When it's on Flamma, I think it actually looks all right. The yellow and green contrast pretty well, but it's pretty much just a color change for the shield and he gets a stud gun. His last power that he comes with is Ice Dragon, relatively simple as well. You might recognize the piece that makes up his spinning ice disc and the points on it are so long that it's kind of hard to pose this thing in any sort of dynamic position on the minifig, but it looks all right enough, I suppose. And here is the entire set together. I do like Flamma in the yellow. I think that is sort of the main reason why I like this set, and he does come with three pretty decent Nexo powers. All right, that is it for this little episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Remember, if you enjoy our content, you can always like or subscribe, and I have left a link in the video description below if you want to pick the set up. All right, that is it. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault. Yeah!